fellow moviegoers, I just got out of seeing Turbo, DreamWorks Animation's latest animated feature-length film. I had a good time with it. Uh, the people I went with had a good time. The crowd was into it. It was mainly uh, a lot of children and then a bearded gentleman like myself. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, basically, uh, there is this snail who has aspirations to do more than just kind of slouch here and there and be pretty slow and he wants to be a professional race car driver not just in some uh, little sense of being around the area but a real race car driver at the Indy 500 now one thing that I thought was pretty cool about this is they actually had a real place I live in Indiana I live, I'm from South Bend Indiana and they actually used the Indy 500 as the tumultuous goal for this um, this character. Um, they used uh, a lot of real sponsorship things. Uh, you know, probably paid sponsors, obviously, like Verizon Wireless and such as that. Um, so I thought it was pretty cool that they, you know, instead of using generic stuff, they, they used a real thing. Uh, Ryan Reynolds plays the snail. Uh, he is a go-getter. He wants to live the dream that he's always had in his little snail life. Uh, he has more aspirations than just being a, a groomer of a tomato garden like everyone else in the snail family. His brother is played by Paul Giamatti. He is this uh, pessimistic guy, but he's well-meaning. He just wants to protect his little brother. Um, Michael Pena plays one half of a, a taco brother. They make these amazing tacos. Um, and it's pretty funny. He... Uh, they actually had these races in this little strip mall plaza. Um, Maya Rudolph plays one of the other snails. Uh, Samuel Jackson plays another snail. And Bill Hader plays the uh, hero, if you want to call him that, hero uh, human that uh, is a race car driver. So he has this crazy French accent. Imagine uh, the one from Talladega Nights played by... Uh, yeah, it's just a French guy, you know. Anyway, um, it's all, Sasha Baron Cohen is when, sorry. But anyway, it, it's a fun, family-friendly movie. Kids are going to love this movie. It's incredibly far-fetched. Yes, I know I'm talking about snails racing and stuff. A lot of far-fetched stuff. There wasn't a lot of meat to this movie. Um, there's a lot of, a couple one-liners here and there that'll make you chuckle, but I didn't really laugh out loud a whole bunch. I started to kind of doze Towards the end, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, I think there could have been a little bit more work put into this. The animation's beautiful. Character designs are really pretty. Especially the humans. The slug, you know, slugs, snails, whatever you want to call them. They're alright, but um, the humans look great. Um, cool accents. Uh, all around Indiana. It's, pr it's pretty cool seeing, you know, an Indiana-based event like the Indy 500. Arguably the biggest event in the world for racing, and it was pretty well deserved in this film. Uh, so I want to know what you think about this movie. If you have any recommendations for other movies, um, please leave a comment. Subscribe to me, and I'll subscribe right back to your channel. I get an email alert for everybody. Uh, let me know other movies you're looking forward to. Even if it's a movie you watched 15 years ago and you're like, Hey Ryan, have you seen this movie? Let me know, please, alright? So leave a comment. Subscribe to me, I'll subscribe back, and I will comment back as well. And I will check out one of your latest videos. Appreciate everyone watching my videos once again, and uh, see you at the movies.